Stormy Daniels lawyer, Michael Avenatti, warned that President Donald Trump should have thought twice before trusting his own attorney, Michael Cohen, whose offices were raided on Monday by the FBI. An enormous amount of misplaced faith has been placed on Michael Cohen's shoulders emo, Avenatti wrote on Twitter, not long after news broke of the FBI's raid, which Cohen's lawyer said was based on a referral by Russia investigation special counsel Robert Mueller. This could end up very very badly for President Donald Trump and others. Among the documents seized, according to reports, were records of the $130,000 payment Cohen made to Stormy Daniels, whose legal name is Stephanie Clifford, in the weeks leading up to the 2016 election, apparently in exchange for her silence on her alleged UAL involvement with Trump. The search, which, according to the New York Times, included the seizure of other exchanges between Cohen and the president, was called completely inappropriate and unnecessary by Cohen's attorney Stephen Ryan, but others have long thought Cohen's payout to the adult film actress to be insidious and worthy of investigation. Last month, during Daniel's interview with Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes, Trevor Potter, a Republican election law expert and former chairman of the Federal Election Commission, said the payment could be considered an illegal campaign contribution because it exceeds the legal spending limit. It's a $130,000 in-kind contribution by Cohen to the Trump campaign, which is about $126,500 above what he's allowed to give. Potter said, if he does this on behalf of his client, the candidate, that is a coordinated, illegal, in-kind contribution by Cohen for the purpose of influencing the election, for benefiting the candidate by keeping this secret. Keep up with this story and more by subscribing. No Cohen has said that he wired Daniels the $130,000 using his own funds, but he reportedly used his Trump organization email to make the arrangements. Trump has continued to deny that he knew anything about his personal attorney's interactions with Daniels. When asked last week if he knew anything about the payment, Trump told reporters on Air Force One, No, you'll have to ask Michael Cohen. Michael is my attorney. You'll have to ask Michael.